BFTB, best fight the best. So, Tyson Fury lost arbitration. Um, now let's explain something now. Tyson Fury is a very good boxer. He's a very big guy and he can box. But Tyson Fury um, uses a lot of mind games in his boxing matches. Like, majority of his fights. Matter of fact, damn near all of them. All of them. Actually, he, he's, he uses mind games. All of them. Even with Deontay Wilder, he uses mind games. It's how he, that's how he tries to get the edge on you. To get in your head and to mess with you and, and stuff like that. That's how he tries to, you know, get his foot in the door of having like a, a, a one up on you. That's why after every round in any fight, he'll raise his hands up as if he won that round when he didn't. Or whether he did or didn't. Even if he did win the round, he still raises his hands up. If he wins the round, he weighs it. If he doesn't, if he lost that round, clearly, he still raises his hands every single time. But it's all about mind games. It's all about him like having the one up on you in some way, shape, or fashion. Losing arbitration is the biggest mind fuck that can happen to this man. Now, just out, out and out, straight up boxing, any boxer can beat any boxer. Any fighter, any one of them can beat any one of them. But just out and out, straight out like mind games Tyson Fury has you know he has been one of the best at it losing arbitration is the biggest mind game L that Tyson Fury has probably ever took if, if it's not the biggest it's the second biggest the first mind game L sent Tyson Fury into, into semi-retirement and on a coke binge. That's the first mind game L. You know, the second, this is the second, and this actually could be the biggest. Um, the first mind game L, he popped dirty. So, you know, it was sort of, let me get out of the sport before, you know, it, it, it starts to come down on me sort of heavy. Let me just step away. So you can go ahead and push, push media you can push old media, you know, racist media. You can push them to say, oh, well, they're they're doing Tyson Fury so wrong. They're doing they're, they're, they're doing Fury so wrong, so bad to Fury. Although they could never explain to you what they did to Fury. You know, you can never explain. No one can never explain what did people do to Fury so bad. But because he has white privilege, that he can just say, oh man, they're doing me so dodgy. They're doing me so wrong. And that's just good enough. It's just good enough. Now, if it was black, he'd have to explain all that. If Tyson Fury was Tyson Johnson, he'd have to explain all of that. Well, what are they doing to you? Well, what? I mean, what? who said what? Where are they saying? And that's all. Oh, I mean, that's all they said. Oh, man, that's not really that bad. That's not really that bad. Stop playing the victim. All of that shit is what they would have said if it wasn't Tyson Fury, the white gypsy man, and it was Tyson Johnson, the dude from the Bronx. If it was Tyson Johnson, the dude from Atlanta, a black man from Atlanta, it would be, stop playing the victim card. Stop playing the race card. Stop it. That's what it would be. But y'all can tell yourselves whatever the fuck y'all want to tell yourselves. I know that I know what it is. Y'all can tell yourself whatever you want. This is the biggest mind game L that Tyson Fury has to take. And it's bigger, again, it's bigger than the mind game L he lost with Vladimir Klitschko where he was cheating. It's it's bigger than that one. Because he could just, like I said, he could just jump out of boxing and just say, oh, oh well, I'm just a uh, mental illness. It's 
So let me guess, are you gonna fake mental illness again? You're gonna fake it again? You're gonna say, oh, well, I had a relapse. You're gonna pull a Ryan Garcia? I had a relapse, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, listen, I had a relapse, I'm gonna step away from boxing for a while. Because everybody's coming at me, you know, they're, they're down on me, they're cyberbullying me. You know, let me just join Melania Trump's Be Better. Be Better movement for cyberbullying. Be better. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of my face. You don't want no smoke with Deontay Wilder. You lost arbitration. When you're riding high talking about, oh, you, you're the man and, and, and you're the gypsy king and no one can tell you nothing. You know, you know man can do this and the fight with Deontay Wilder is over. I'll never fight him again. It'll never happen. Okay, that's fine. You can stick to your guns. Stick to your guns, Tyson Fury. Never fight Deontay Wilder. Stick to your guns. That's no problem with me. You're a fucking fraud and a cheater and a coward. So stick to your guns. That's fine. Never fight Deontay Wilder. That will mean Deontay Wilder will fight Dillian White for the WBC title. Bro, all, all roads lead back to Deontay Wilder. All roads. I'm A-OK. -okay. I'm 100% A-OK -okay with Deontay Wilder fighting Dillian White for the WBC title. What can they say? What can they say? Oh, Dillian White's a bum. Dillian White's garbage. Oh, oh Dillian White. What, is, that, is that what you're going to say? <laughs> you can't. You, you have nothing. You can't say anything. Because y'all been dick riding Dillian White for years. Oh, Dillian White, man, he'll beat Deontay Wilder. Dillian White is such a better boxer. Dillian White is this and Dillian White. Deontay Wilder is scared. Deontay Wilder will never fight Dillian White. Never. Dillian White will knock him out. He'll knock him out, bro. Dillian White walks through Deontay Wilder. Dillian, Deontay Wilder is so trash. He's such a bad boxer. He's garbage. He's shit. Deontay, Dillian White is the man. Dillian White will destroy him. Why don't you just fight Dillian White? Why don't you just fight your number one? Dillian White is ranked number one. Why don't you just fight the number one? All of those excuses get put to rest. All of them. All roads lead to Deontay Wilder. All of them. Everyone. Every single one. So when Deontay, when Tyson Fury ducks Deontay Wilder again, when Tyson Fury says, I am not fighting Deontay Wilder, I told y'all I'm not fighting him. I don't need a WBC title. Everybody knows I'm the real champion. Everybody knows blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Go ahead and say that. That's fine. It's irrelevant. <laughs> It'll be totally irrelevant. Everybody knows I'm the real champion. Everybody knows I will not be forced. I'm the Gypsy King. I will not be forced. I will not blah, blah, blah. Go ahead. Just get him already now. Get it already now. Because no one is going to say Tyson Fury is making excuses on fighting Deontay Wilder. No one will say that. He's making excuses. This man had to take you to court. He had to take you to court to fight him. He beat you in court and you're still refusing to fight him. I do not believe Tyson Fury will fight Deontay Wilder ever, ever. That fight will never happen. I don't believe it. I will believe that fight when they are standing in the ring and their bell is about to be rung for bell for round one. Until then, I do not believe Tyson Fury will fight Deontay Wilder ever, ever. I believe Tyson Fury will vacate the WBC title and look to fight Anthony Joshua anyway. And Deontay Wilder will fight Dillian White for the WBC title. And they will have nothing to say. Nothing. Nothing at all to say. Nothing. Do you know, do you know, what, the, do you know what the new words will be? The new words will be, oh, well, Deontay Wilder only really fought one good fighter. Oh, Dillian White was damaged goods. Anthony Joshua already beat him. <laughs> Anthony Joshua already beat Dillian White. Dillian White was, Dillian White was garbage. Dillian White was trash. Everybody knows Dillian White is trash. Look what Povetkin did to him. Dillian White's garbage. Everybody knows this. No, no, LDBC. You can't say Dillian White is good now. Dillian White's a bum. Keep that same energy, LDBC. You all said Dillian White's a bum. 
Don't worry, I'm getting all your excuses out the way right now. I'm getting them out the way now. So, what BRTB expects, this is what I expect. I expect Tyson Fury in the next couple of days to the next couple of weeks to announce that he is moving forward with fighting Anthony Joshua. He is moving forward with that. He will not fight Deontay Wilder and he will vacate the WBC title. That's what I'm expecting to be heard. That is what I'm expecting um, the, the uh, Tyson Fury to say. I'm expecting the WBC to condone it. I'm expecting that. I'm expecting Bob Arum, who you know, no one's going to hold accountable for nothing. You know, not Bud Crawford's career, not not Ter not Ter uh, Tyson Fury's career. Nobody. They're not going to hold Bob Arum to nothing. It's the same Bob Arum who said, "Well, you know, uh, uh, that fight is dead. It's over. Deontay Wilder let his contract expire. That fight is over." It'll never happen. It's done. But now, now, all of a sudden, you know, when Deontay Wilder won arbitration, nobody will say anything about Bob Arum. They'll say, oh, come on, BFTB. Everybody knows Bob Arum's a liar. He's a promoter. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows he's a liar. We all know. Everybody's known that. Come on now. But then you'll hold his word to the gospel. When he says something else about somebody else. When BFTB says, I don't believe liars. Right? Oh, no. Oh, oh, boys, you can't. Oh, but Bob Arum said it. Bob Arum decreed it. Right. Right. Okay. That's fine. No problem. Because you, you guys just keep making yourselves look stupid every fucking day. Every day you allow yourselves to look fucking stupid. <laughs> so... Tyson Fury will not fight Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury will move forward looking to fight Anthony Joshua. That's what he will do. He will move forward for that fight. Now, I understand the money will not be the same. It will not be the same because they are looking to stage an undisputed fight. So the money won't be the same and Tyson Fury won't care. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all all know now. Tyson Fury won't care. He won't give a fuck. That money will probably get chopped in half. He'll probably make $25 million to fight Anthony Joshua for Joshua's belts. <laughs> He'll make $25 million to fight Anthony Joshua for Joshua's belts. Oh, and the lineal title. The lineal title. He'll make $25 million. Not the 50, the 75, 60, whatever the fuck number they were claiming. He will not make that. Anthony Joshua will make about $40 million. Tyson Fury will make about 25. Tyson Fury will move forward with the Anthony Joshua fight because he does not want to fight Deontay Wilder. He will fuck around and move forward and sign a rematch clause so that win or lose, he fights Anthony Joshua again. He will fuck around and lose to Anthony Joshua. And then fight Josh. It doesn't even matter if he wins. It does, that doesn't even matter. But he will do a rematch. Joshua will have no problem signing the rematch. No problem. Mind you, he had a problem with Deontay Wilder. It was just one fight. No, one fight, that's it. One fight, no no rematch clause, no nothing. And if there's a rematch clause, it's for me and not you. It's a one-sided rematch clause for me, not you. So if I lose, then I get a rematch. But if you lose, no rematch. Tyson Fury will have a rematch clause because neither one of them want to fight Deontay Wilder. They will be able to push Deontay Wilder off for another year in hopes that D-Ball Dillian will be able to beat him. <laughs> and then when D-Ball Dillian gets fucking destroyed, destroyed by Deontay Wilder in a round or two, then they'll start pushing for Usyk to fight Deontay Wilder or somebody else, you know, Herkovich again or somebody else. Oh, well, Deontay Wilder hasn't fought anybody. Well, why, while, you know, the the the, uh, the Fury versus AJ rematch is going on, why doesn't Wilder just fight um, Usyk? Why doesn't Wilder fight Joe Joyce or, or F.A. Ojogba? Why doesn't Wilder just fight one of these guys? Why? Although Tyson Fury hasn't fought anybody in damn near a year, but whatever. It is what it is, man. BFTB. Shout out to the LDBC. 
and I'm out.